semi-auto uncapped. So we'll see how she does. We'll see how I do actually. What's up guys? Today we have the Bob Long Onslaught. Now this gun is one that came out after the Insight. It's got the push button on the top. So there are some changes to the engine um, from the Insight to the Onslaught. The Onslaught has a spring in it. Ah, much better milling, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, went through everything. Uh, regulator got a bath. Freak XL, 6845, and the control hopper on top. It's got a nice deuce on it. Now, this is the predecessor to the basically the predecessor engine to the Field One Force, and uh, it shoots great. Remember, with the uh, Bob Long guns, pretty much all of them, I believe, the regulator adjustment does not need to be big at all. 292, 294, 290, 296. Uh, if you can read that, semi-auto uncapped, so we'll see how she does. We'll see how I do, actually. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I love the this type of engine or the sound that it produces. Uh, it's not necessarily poppy, but it, up front. Ooh, got one more. Engine. Uh, it's got the spring. It's got the soft tip. Uh, the bolt acceleration on these is extremely fast, and so what Field One did, they made a couple of modifications to the stem or how the hair, excuse me, how the air is inputted into the back of the bolt um, to to slow down the bolt speed and how fast it can accelerate forward. But no issues today. It is a very mild day as far as temperature is concerned. And the paint that I normally shoot is just kind of rough paint. So here it is, Bob Long Insight. I knew I was going to say that. Bob Long Onslaught. Great gun. And, um,. Great milling. Back when guns had a little bit more personality, huh? Thanks guys, and I will see you in the next one.